All right, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comet. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. Before we get this video started, make sure you use the code YouTube for 15% off on all products on GFXcomet.com. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, check out the website welcome back to a new tutorial and today we are going to be doing an angel of fire scene uh so this is the model i'm using i just looked up angel and i'm using uh this one right over here so let's just get on with it and right click export name it whatever you want and let's move on to blender all right so here we are hit a x and click delete we're gonna go file import object and find your uh, your model right over here hit imports and where is it at okay so all the way over here go to objects set origin origin to geometry we're gonna hit um, G on our keyboard GY move it to the middle and let's go into rendered view um obviously using a rig for this you could do that but for the tutorial it's just i want to focus on the photoshop part of this uh video so i'm not gonna put complete effort into you know posing and rigging right now add an xgri click the circle environment texture go to open and just use any one you want let's turn on ambience and bloom screen space reflections and let's go add a sunlight right over here gy gx and we're just gonna and we're just gonna point this to our model and let me, let me try this five all right we don't want it to be too bright let's adjust the material so go to edit mode and click on the wings let's do something like this <laughs> let's do something like this and now let's um and now for the pose uh, so i forgot one thing when you are importing your objects anytime you want the body parts to be separate you want to go to geometry and make sure it's split and make sure it's split by group and not objects so we got this now we're just gonna pose our uh, character so pose it however you want it is completely up to you R R hit R and we're just gonna rotate rotate this oops yeah i'm not the best at posing actually it's not even that it's just i don't enjoy it at all so um this is good enough i don't know <laughs> i mean this should be fine right all right i mean it's fine for me so shift a let's add a camera not that that's not a camera all right hit zero zoom in Let's go to our model. There you are. And um, for the camera, I'm gonna zoom out just a bit to give it that effect. You know, that effect. I don't know what it's called, but it's an effect. It's something. All right, let's go to settings render settings go to film transparent and we're just gonna go and we're just gonna go to render render image and once it's done image save as and we're gonna name this angel render all right now we are going to head to photoshop so i will see you over there all right so the dimensions are 1920 by 1080 with a resolution of 100 as you can see we're gonna hit create and now cloudy sky we're gonna look for a background so I want to use a cloudy sky. Let's import this. Um, yeah, it's very blurry and grainy, but I think it's fine, honestly. So let's put it in our render 
And first things first, um, you can just follow along. I don't want to narrate every single thing because it's gonna be very tiring, you know. So I want to adjust the levels. There we go. Like that. Now let's go add an exposure. Alright. We can turn off this now. Alright, we can turn this off now. So, I'm gonna go to the smoke section. Alright, and I'm gonna put this in. Let's see how it looks. I like it. Alright, very subtle. And let's check out the other ones. Boom, boom. Why is it scrolling so far? Alright, let's add this. There we go. And for the character, I'm gonna rasterize it. I actually wanna try something and go perspective. And I just wanna run and uh, I just wanna rotate everything. I think the angle is kinda bad. So let's go like that. Alright, for the background, um, I'm going to blur it. So motion blur. Maybe not motion blur. Uh, let's copy it. I'm gonna try maybe, maybe just slightly. Maybe, yeah, just bits. But overall, I want a Gaussian blur. And to make the character less bland, let's go to blending options and let's go add bevel and boss. Turn these up. Soften. We go inner glow, we can do the rim glow effects. Rim light or whatever it's called alright so I found some feathers um, I'm gonna import this to my scene as you can see and we're just gonna have this around and we're just gonna have these kinda of falling so right over here and here and just pretty much copy and paste as you can see and now we're just gonna take all these merge control E copy it and we're gonna go to filter blur and motion blur Or let's just not do it on the copy. Let's actually blur it. Uh, looks better. Just slightly. Maybe like four, five, six, seven. I like seven. All right. Now let's go do the actual fire effects. So so uh, I'm gonna use this fire stock right over here. All right, user eraser tool. We're just gonna erase some parts. All right, right over here. I'm gonna move this to the back. I think. All right, we copy this a couple times. Make a new layer and change our and uh, change our color to an orange. We're just gonna paint over this go to overlay and uh, copy this again oops on top this time I'm gonna go to color I'm gonna go to linear dodge all right make a new layer and we're just gonna paint screen and I copy it overlay 
something like this. All right, we copy this over to the other side. It does kind of look better on the Dominus. It makes more sense. So I'm just gonna put it right here. All right, so now we're just gonna continue doing the same thing. Let me dodge. Oh, ah, ah, this one looks nice. I kinda I really like this one. Let's put this one over here. All right, erase this cut off and uh, yeah just do the same thing and uh we're gonna change this to overlay boom looks very nice also go screen uh, what you could also do is you could do something like this um uh, we could add some sparks as well. Just put this behind the character. And what we could also do is, I'm just gonna use this, clip it into the character right over here, and go linear dodge, just like that. Copy it. Copy it again. And filter blur, Gaussian blur. Blur this out. Make a new layer, and just gonna go. Just like this on uh, soft lights. You can also go to screen, as you can see. So we're just gonna take this, and we're gonna copy and paste it to the other side. Very nice. Very very nice. Very nice. I like this a lot. Very nice. Copy and paste this uh, FX thing as well. Erase these parts. And um, this glow, I see this very subtle cutoff. Let's fix that. And these effects on this side, we're just gonna duplicate it to the other side. So let's take one, two, three, four, five. Let's take these five. Control T, flip horizontal. Let's put it right over here. All right. So now let's add some colors. Uh, color lookup. I'm just gonna go through these. Pick ones that you like. And this one's pretty nice. I like how this looks. Copy it again, normal, and we're just gonna go through each one of these. All right, once that's good, we're gonna try some gradient maps on soft lights. We could uh, keep some blue onto the scene. Screen that's way too much. All right. Once you are happy with everything, we're just going to um, um, actually let me copy the character. I'm gonna try something. Rasterize it. Filter blur. Wait, let's go motion blur. All right. I'm just gonna have this. Copy this and erase this part. Turn this on. All right. Once you are happy with everything, click on the top layer and hold Shift. Click on the bottom. Control G to group. Control J to copy. Control E to flatten. And uh, as you can see, there are these cutoff parts. So we're gonna do Control A, Control J to copy again. Delete this one and control J to copy this because we're gonna go to camera raw filter and from here you want to um, just mess with these settings as always now for the vibrance I'm gonna do something uh, later on not at the moment Alright, so I'm just going to leave this on zero. Detail, we can go noise reduction, a tad bit. 
sharpen uh, optics you got a vignettes geometry effects you got some grain I think grain actually makes it look better to be honest but uh, I'm gonna hit ok first then I'm gonna copy it and then I'm going to add the grain because I want it separate so I can actually control if I want it or not so I'm just gonna have some grain yeah I actually like that more so now we can take everything group copy flatten copy again and um, we could try a radio blur zoom yep that looks nice and just erase some parts and uh, if you want these cinematic effects just use uh, some black bars with the rectangle just go like this and you're pretty much good but uh, yeah that's gonna be it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed I hope this helped you um, I mean yeah I will see you all next time